everybody. Happy Saturday, guys. Happy Saturday. Happy, happy Saturday. Sunday as follow. I'm sitting here full as a tick on a dog. I just had me uh, um, Sasha egg and cheese and bacon on croissant sandwich. I put a little bit of uh, mayo on it and I had some um, pickle um, hot peppers in the jar. Yo, you guys got to try it. They are so freaking good. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Yo. Oh, honey, I'm so full I can't even get up. Anastasia can't get up, honey. I'm full. But they are so good. I'm wobbling, honey. I'm full. They are so good, guys. What's up, everybody? I hope everybody's having a, a good morning. So good so far. So, guys, I wanted to come in. You know I want to come in. I want to come in. I want to talk to you wonderful yum yums um, about uh, something. These are, let me show you guys. These are sliced jalapenos. These are sliced jalapenos. Try it, guys. They taste amazing. I eat them out the jar. They're so freaking good. And I have a can of um. I have a can of um beets that I'm gonna be eating later. I love beets. You see, guys, my cabinet is packed. It is packed. These are my beets that I'm gonna be eating later. They're very, very, very healthy. Very, very good for you. Very good for you. So, I don't have to worry about food and everything. You know, those who don't have food, I hope God, you know, come on in and bless them to be able to get food. Because it's hard out here, guys. I'm going to turn that light off. It's too many lights, guys. Let me tell you. I know you guys don't want me in the dark. Should I turn the light back on? Okay, I'll turn it back on for you. Wonderful yum-yums. But guys, let me tell you. Y'all know Miss, uh, where's the remote? Y'all know Miss Slayton, man, Mr. Ken is in town. <laughs> Mr. Ken is in town, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Ken. Mr. Ken, you must really, I'm sitting here by the, on the couch. You must really sincerely love this woman. Now, <clears throat> one thing I am going to say about her, um, like I said, I don't have anything, you know, against her. I just speak my topics on my channel. Um, one thing I could say about Adrienne is that she does not mind feeding anything or anybody. She feeds the birds. She feeds the lizards. She, she feeds the, um, what do you call those things? Um, the seagulls, she she feeds down. She'll feed you. You know, she do have a generous heart when it comes down to feeding someone. But, baby, you got to be careful. You got to be mindful, cautious, and careful and beware of her because she is a piece of work. Well, Mr. Ken is in town over in Florida. And I was watching a video with her and him. And she had ordered this fish and shrimp platter. And Mr. Ken, you know, they messed up his order. So she says... Well, you know, since he was very nice enough to buy me this wonderful um, chain on my neck with A on it with a crown at the top. I don't know what the crown represents. She said that was the only one that was left. All right, I get it that you got the, the necklace with the A on it. I get it that there's a possibility that was the only, you know, one that was left. But baby, that crown, what does that crown represent? Does it represent... Hmm. Mm -hmm. Demon, mm -hmm. demonic, mm -hmm. the grace. Mm -hmm. Which one does it represent? Because, honey, as far as it meaning um, good to people, you know, I don't know. You know, maybe some people, not everybody, if you guys get my drift. So anyway, to be precise, Mr. Ken is in town, and he was so upset about his hamburger not being right. The first time he ordered the hamburger, they effed up the hamburger, and he told them no cheese, and they put cheese. He had to go back, and he had to go in there and wait, and then when they made the hamburger again, he came back out to the car as Adrian Slave arrives. He slashed Sharika, slash Nikki was in the car eating her food. He went to open up his food, and the damn hamburger was jacked up again. The roll was too hard. She said, now that's why I say, I can say, 
one honest good thing about her is that she will feed those animals no matter if it's a pigeon, a worm, an ant, a snail, a snake, or a pigeon. She will feed those animals. And she will feed people as well. <coughs> Excuse me, my spit went down wrong. And Mr. Ken didn't eat the hamburger. <coughs> she said, take the hamburger off the bun and eat the meat. And Ken said, mm -mm, nope. Now, when your sandwich is not made right, that really upsets you, especially if you're hungry and you was dependent on that sandwich and you was really watering for that sandwich. You want your sandwich to be done correctly. Now, I'm sure he told the person to make the hamburger this way. Well, you know, sometimes they get the orders mixed up and they do it, you know, just to get the people and the customers out of the way. But you don't suppose to settle for less when you're spending your money. And so Mr. Ken did not eat the hamburger. The first time or the second time. I'm sitting here by my Montgomery lamp. Guys, as I told you guys, if you want to purchase these lamps, they're $100 a piece. Now, I had these lamps for precisely maybe three years now. They're black on the outside. The wood is black. I love them. I think I had them for about three years. I have, um, actually, I have two of them. That's the other one over there in the corner. And, um, yeah, so if you want to purchase that, you can, um, uh, order a catalog from Montgomery Ward or 7th Avenue. You know, I have things from 7th Avenue on my wall, which is these statues that you see sitting over top of me, these wall statues, and which are the ones here on the wall. The little chandeliers, the chandeliers, the chandeliers. My neighbor, my niece gave them to me uh, last year, and I thought they were so, so cute. But anyway, that's here or there. So let's get back to the topic, guys. And so Mr. Ken was very upset about his hamburger, so he did not eat it. And so she said, you better eat that hamburger. Don't be wasting no money. So he said, no, I don't want it. He's not going to eat it. So she said, no, we're going to get a hamburger to somebody because all these people out here that can't eat, they can't eat. You're going to give that hamburger to somebody. So he went over and he got the hamburger and he said, look, this roll is hard as a brick. You hit somebody with this, you're going to knock them the hell out. You know, just sort of kind of paraphrasing it a little bit. And so, you know, Adrian is going to make sure somebody or some, some animal or some person is going to get that, that sandwich. A homeless person, a, a pigeon, a bird, a snake, a snail, a, a possum or whatever, a cat or dog or whatever. She's going to make sure that they get that burger. And so she showed her little chain around her neck. And she said she took the pyramid off because uh, Mr. Devin, Devin, the pyramid off her neck from Mr. Devin because she got tired of wearing it. She said, Devin, you know, Devin, you know, the one Michael Jackson. I think that was just so, that was so rude, Adrian, to call that man Michael Jackson. Hey, he wasn't Michael Jackson when you were saying, oh, I got you. Uh-huh. Huh? You thought you got away from it, didn't you? Uh-huh. Huh? Disclaimer. You know, he wasn't saying that when you told that man, come on, on in, come on in here. You know, rub my feet down. My feet hurt. My back hurt. You wasn't thinking about that when you told that man in the room. <laughs> you know? And uh, Mr. Greg, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Mr. Greg, you know, he's a senior, senior citizen. And Mr. Greg, you, listen, listen, y'all. Mr. Greg even, uh, he even, uh, you know, say, Mm, Kudina, Kubanchi, you know, Totra, Totrote. Mm-hmm, Mr. Gray went in there, he got a little, little, little head up. You, you, you get me, you know. And, uh, mm-hmm. Now, the only one I think that didn't have a chance was Remy, you know. Um, I'm not sure, but I think Remy didn't have a chance, but Remy was trying. And then the other gentleman that um, she went fishing with, you know, he, you know, they was going to go out to the fishing, you know, out to the river, to the fishing thing. And they was drinking some, I call it Thunderbird. I call it, uh, what do you call that, that dear? Taylor's Port. That would look like to me, Taylor's Port. You know, you, you guys remember Taylor's Port back in the day? Well, I was never really a wine drinker or, you know, a liquor drinker. I was always a beer drinker. Back in the day, 20-something years ago, Baby, I drank the Silver Thunder. I drank the Nic uh, Nic Nicola, uh beer, which, which was a dollar for a quarter beer. I drank the, um, uh, uh, what I say, Silver Thunder. Now, Coke 45. 
and St. Ives and Four Loco. Now, I wasn't down with all that type of stuff because that stuff make you sick. And old English, I, I, I couldn't do it, y'all. But bro was trying to get a little intoxicated, not intoxicated, intoxicated. You get me? Because a brother, brother was going to throw, he was going to go in there and give him a little bit of Shanique. A little bit of Shanona, Shanona Kutina. That way he thought he was going to go in there and get him a little bit of that little thing. And um, so, yeah. So, Dalvin, Devin, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, Dalvin. Um, Devin, mm-hmm. Mr. Greg, mm-hmm. now Remy, as I stated, I don't know. Okay, um, who else was there? Um, oh, and Mr. Ray. Oh, and Mr. T, you know, the one that has the, the beautiful condominium and the really beautiful car. Now, mm, I don't know what came about that, but I could tell you one thing for certain and two damn things for sure. <laughs> Meant the T. He said, hell, hell with this brother. I ain't coming back. I ain't see, saw, heard. I ain't see the man or heard her speak about that man no more. Mr. T, what they call him, Mr. Tesla. Because I don't want YouTube to copyright me. Every time I say something to YouTube, come in and they start kicking things down and cutting off my damn comment box. And um, now... I don't know about him, but I do know one thing for certain, and two damn things for show. Sure. Devin, as she called him, Michael Jackson, the pastor, Mr. Gray, whom is um, a dietary at, um, I guess, a senior sitting home or whatever the means may be. Um, uh, excuse me, Ray. The, the, the gentleman that she was supposed to be going on the adventurous trip with. And then she says, oh, guys, y'all already know. Uh-uh, honey, I ain't getting in that water. You wasn't going to get that rats in that water anyway. You know you wasn't going to get that rats in that damn water. Yeah, yeah. Adrian, you think we dumb. You think we're, we're naive. We knew what you were doing, sweetheart. We knew that you was clout baiting, clout chasing, you know, um, viewers and subscribers and recognition and trying to take that channel to the top. You know what I mean? We knew that you were not going on that water. We knew you wasn't going to do that. You know, you may have some of the people fooled some of the time, but I bet damn if you have all the people uh, uh, <laughs> confused all of the time. Okay? You may have some of them fooled some of the time. But all the people, you ain't got them food all of the time, okay? You guys get me what I'm saying. So when I heard that, I was like, now I know damn well these cut-ups ain't believing this stuff that this woman is saying that she going to go on that damn water. Y'all know, first of all, she got bad knees like Anastasia Garadelli's world, okay? Because <laughs> these knees are throw up, lucked up from the flow up, honey. Sometimes I can't even walk, honey. These knees be hurting me so damn bad. They be cracking and popping like damn, like you're popping popcorn on the damn stove. That's how my damn knees be cracking me some damn time. Guys. Now, you know and I know. Now, I'm going to tell you this. She's not a dumb lady. She's not dumb at all. She knows how to try to come in and try to uh, manipulate the mind, the body, and the soul. Manipulating those guys, trying to anyway, but I don't think she succeeded in manip manipulating Mr. T. Mr. T say, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ain't here to say nothing more about him, okay? Um, Mr. Greg, hasta la vista, baby. Disclaimer on that. Ain't see, saw, heard, nothing else about the man. Then here come Mr. Ray. Mm, 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 mm. Mr. Ray. Hey, Mr. Ray. You ain't try, brother. Brother. Uh, hello, Mr. Ray. You, you ain't try. Oh, honey, and start your little grace. It's growing from under here, honey. Just, look at y'all. It's just growing. Yeah, I'm gray. I'm old. Mm hmm. Getting old, but that's all right, because I thank God for it. But, yeah, so I said, I wonder if Mr. Ray, you know, if, if he tried to, you know, say some things of the things. You, you, you get me, guys. M M Mr. Ray, what happened? It, it ain't nothing happened, Mr. Ray. Oh, damn, Mr. Ray. I think she got rid of Oh, brother. But let me tell you something. When Mr. Ray was sitting in that restaurant with her, he seemed like he was so damn agitated by her. Just saying. 
He just didn't look like he was too happy. He just looked like he was too, like he wasn't too much into, you know, the lunch, the conversation, the questions, or anything. And she says, is there anything that you would like to say? <laughs> Man, Ray looked at her like, if you don't get this mother flipping came out my mother flipping face, girl, I ain't got a mother flipping thing to say. That's how he was looking, y'all. If y'all guys would have looked at that video and seen that expression on that man's face, that man looked like he was just so agitated. Like, listen, take me back to your apartment. Let me get my damn bike and get up out of here. And then I told you guys, I told my yum-yums, I said, you can bet your bottom dollar. This is all for clickbait. Mm-hmm. This is all for views. This is all for subscribers and recognition. And this is all for her channel going up, 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 and up. Yeah. That's what she was looking for. Recognition and looking for her channel to go up, up, up. Now, guys, if you guys don't know by now, like I told y'all, the woman is not dumb. Not by a long shot. She knows, she knows, or she thinks she knows how to creep and dip and... You know, go around the scenario and, 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 and do her little, you know, conniving little, you know, things that she tries to accomplish and achieve. But I always say like this, whatever you want and whatever you're trying to achieve and succeed in life, you can make that possible. Yeah, some people go about it in a crooked way. Of course, you have a million trillion people that go about things, you know, for success and trying to succeed, you know, um, in a crooked way. It wouldn't be life if they didn't do it. But this one here. Baby. Baby. This is just as sneaky and canavan as she can be. And then guys. My girl Heidi. I love Heidi. I love her channel. I love her channel. That girl be tickling me. Man my girl. She, she just like. She's just you know. She's an outspoken person. She speaks her facts. And she's, she speaks on her channel. And. That's who Heidi is. You know, either you accept her or you don't. And I accept her. I love her channel. I love her topics. I, I like the way she speaks. She speaks very well. Now, um, she majority of the time, she goes live. And I really enjoy watching her channel. I was watching her one of her channels um, live this morning. Um, just for a little bit. Just for a brief. And, but I'll tell you, baby. She give you facts, baby. Hey, pure facts. And she don't sugarcoat a damn thing that come out of her mouth. She give it to you pure and raw and one zizundred. Okay? She don't take no shishnish from nobody. And she said that Adrian keeps texting her. Now, when she said that she was through with her, accepted Adrian. She's through. She's gave you multiple chances and you failed her. How many chances do you think that you can get, you know, hurting someone, bashing someone, you know what I mean? Being crooked towards someone, you know what I mean? Going behind their back and talking about them like a damn dog. How long do you think that's supposed to um, keep being accepted and apologies supposed to be keep being accepted by you? No, my dear, you either make up your mind, either you're going to do right or you're not. And if you're not going to do right, you need to get up off the pot and, and, and get out the kitchen. You know what I mean? If you're going to be a homie, a buddy, a friend, a pile, and a ra da da, you're going to do right. You're not going to try to um, accomplish or achieve more than the, the next person has. Or you're not going to be jealous and envious of what the next person has. You go on and you make your success in succeeding and, 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 and you know, achieving what you want in your life. But to, to, to hurt someone, and then you knowing and realizing that you hurt someone. And then you knowing and you realize that, hey, look at me. Look at me. I have no, I have no family that really supports me or care for me and love me. You know, only but I think my girl Aunt Raynette. I like Aunt Raynette. Aunt Raynette, I hope you're doing well, my dear. Um, 
her niece, I don't know if the, her niece is Raynette's daughter or whatever, the one that she says that finances all her, you know, her money and banking and all that, Adrian Slate, Variety, slash Sharika, slash Nikki, okay? She says she finances the whole, you know, make sure everything is right in her, you know. So when she made that statement that, you know, I talked to my niece, you know, I'm going to take this journey, and if anything was to happen to me, and this, that, and the other. Guys, I told you, I told you it was all for clicks and rebates. Okay, she was clout chasing as well as anybody else. Anybody else, viewers, subscribers, recognition, you know, to, to make her channel go higher, her numbers rate go higher. It, it, it listen, this would not be YouTube if it was not done. You know what I'm saying? It would not be YouTube if no one tried to clout chase or whatever. Now. I don't, like, I heard my girls, Heidi was speaking about something about um somebody was being doxing or something like that. I don't know too much of, of that, but she explained it very, very professional and very, very well. You know, I don't come on here to bash anyone. I just speak topics, you know what I mean, of what I hear, what I see, because behind that camera, it may be a whole different aspect of the person, but in front of that camera, you gonna sell yourself to try to get that clout. You gonna sell yourself to try to get them views and them subscribers and that recognition. Am I right? Leave it in the bottom of the comment, your opinion and your comment. Whatever your, your opinion and your comment is, Anastasia can't take that away from you because that is your opinion and that is your comment. You know? Guys, so at any rate, she's with Ken. And, um, <laughs> you know, uh, Ken, boy, I, wow, you must really love this woman. Because let me tell you something. I'm sure that you watch the channel. I'm sure that you know she dates multiple men. I'm sure that you know that she's been with multiple men. I'm not too sure if you're too keen about her doing these things. I gotta go, guys. I'll come back. Hold on, guys. Who is it? Oh. <clears throat> Who? Who is this? Yes, I'm on the phone right now. Sorry guys, I'm back. Hold on, I was getting ready to cut my recording short. So that was Verizon going around. Sorry guys, I said I gotta go. I'm back y'all. Sorry, that was someone in the door. I don't open my door to everybody. But yeah guys, so it's just so crazy, you know. I said this guy must really, really deeply love this woman. To just sit back and see her just dating all these men and all of that, you know. I mean, she's a single lady. He is her ex. You know, they do have love for one another, you know. And I'm sure Ken dates, you know, when he's not there with her. I'm, I'm sure he dates, you know. I mean, even though they say that he's the one that's supposed to be the, you know. I got to be careful what I say on here because you two will copyright me or they will cut off my comment box. Um, you guys get me. Um, so... I'm sure that he, you know, he dates and everything as well as she does. Um, is he complete and happy about her doing what she's doing? Probably not, you know what I mean? He's he's a gentleman. Well, he's a man, and he's going to do what men do, you know, whether it be good or bad. He's going to do what men do. And um, so I was looking at them, and I said, wow, this dude, I don't think this dude is too bright in the head himself, you know, to sit back and he see this woman doing all of this, this nonsense and multiple people and, you know, do he, you know, do he accept all of that? But then I thought about, it, I was like, well, he probably, you know, doing the same thing when he's home and he's not there with her. But at some point or another, he must care about her because I think this is the second time, you know, since uh, this year that he's been over to Florida to go see her. And um, I guess he just take the bitter with the sweet. 
<clears throat> the good with the bad, the bad with the ugly. <laughs> I, I guess just just can you know what I mean? And um, so she just got to get her priorities together because you know she hurts people. You know she really she hurts people, and when she realized that she's hurt you and she know that she hurt you, and then I guess when she sit down with common sense and she think about it and. You know, Sharika comes to her, you know, senses or whatever. And, and Nikki's not out there, you know, <clears throat> doing the fangs of the fangs. That's Nikki, y'all. Now, Nikki's the one that's, you know, promiscuous. That's Nikki. So let me make that perfectly clear to you guys. Um, Sharika is the one that's kind of delusional, the crazy, you know, <laughs> has that, that uh, multiple personalities up in there and the minds just be all over the place, place and scramble and the, the people speaks in her head and everything like that. That's Sharika. Nikki is that one that's very much so promiscuous. Now, Adrian Slave Variety, Adrian Slave Variety is that one that just don't give two shits. She don't care how she speak to you. You know, she's very vulnerable. She's very, you know, she's, she can be very naive. And then and again, at some point or another, she can have a good heart. If she just stays stable, she's not stable. You know what I mean? Um, she, like I said, she will feed people. She will feed the animals. But that Adrian, when you come for that Adrian slave variety, hmm, did you see the end? Variety. That means a variety of everything. Everything, everybody, personalities, or whatever. She, <laughs> she's something else, guys. You know, so when she realized she, Adrian realized she's hurt people, she's done some demean and demonic things to people. You know what I mean? She spoke and she made some very, very harsh videos about people. But then you want to come back and you want to, you want to clear that. Everybody's not going to go for that, Adrian. Everybody's not going to accept that because at a point in time, everybody's going to get tired of the manipulating and the manipulation from you. Either you're going to be a, a good Samaritan at heart or you're not. And if you're not going to be that, you need to just leave everything alone. See, um, I, you don't have any girlfriends. I don't see you. Now, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just saying you don't have any girlfriends because you don't know how to be a friend. When you take someone on as a friend, and what happened to the 